Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. The ISO is going to reject your membership or you know they will like tell you please follow it otherwise the uh, membership will be rejected okay it's not that you take the certification and it's going to be for the lifetime it has to be renewed then so we have the large collections over here like I said you 9000 philosophy okay ISO 9000 document what it says is any activity that you are supposed to do it has to be documented after you do then also it has to be documented so document what you do and do what you document okay means whatever you are going to do you should put it in a document and after you do it then also it should go back into the document okay means you got to record whatever you do so that you know it is going to prove that you have done it right otherwise if you say I have done the testing what is a proof right you say that you know I have informed this defect to the developer what is the proof that you have informed unless and until you have the documentation there right so that is the reason you got to go for the documentation which is like I said you right internal audits which will be conducted six months or three years so that the registration is maintained the certification that they have on the company is maintained so there is the list of ISO family here 9001, 9002, 9003. Okay, so wherein we have quality system model for quality assurance, development, production, installation, service, right? The different categories are considered here. Okay, then another important thing about this standard is these are the processes, not the product. Okay, means the ISO is telling that whatever processes you are following they are as per the standard they are not telling that the software that you have developed is having a standard no they are not you know trying to establish or take the responsibility of your software or a product they are just you know like certifying that the process that you're following is as per the standard they do not take any responsibility on the product that you're developing on the service that you're giving okay they are telling that whatever processes you are following, it is as per the standard. Okay. But whatever product you develop, service you provide, in case they fail, your own company will be responsible for that and not the ISO. Okay. Then certification or the registration. Some countries they call certification, some they call registration, but it's treated one and the same. Okay. So if your organization has to get the certification, then it has to apply for the certification to this ISO and then it will be audited okay by some external body means external commission or let's say a group is going to audit the organization's management and the projects and then they are going to certify then we have one uh, another one over here 12207 okay it is going to define the software testing, software life cycle processes. Means if you are developing a software, what are the different processes that you got to follow? Yes, Shri, that is right. Okay. 
Okay, so these are the software lifecycle processes. Supporting process, you have documentation, configuration, management, quality assurance, verification, validation, audit, problem resolution. And do you see in the primary process, we have the complete development, wherein we do the system analysis and design, software requirement analysis, software design, implementation and execution, testing process. Do you see? So these are nothing but that we learned in our software development lifecycle. And then, before starting with the development, you got to meet your client and get the project from them. Okay, and it is not that easy. You got to gather the requirements from them. I mean, acquire the client, right? And then you also need the supplier. Supplier in the sense, let's say we want the testing tool. From whom are you going to take it? Okay. From which vendor you are going to take it, that also make a difference over here, okay? If I'm, you know, taking some um, low standard testing tool in order to test the software, your client may not agree. He says, okay, HP has a standard tools available for the testing, so we want you to use those tools only, okay? So they want whatever, you know, like um, tools that you use should also be as per the standard. I mean, they do not allow you to, like, if it is manufacturing industry, you say that, okay, I'm going to use some cheap uh, raw materials and uh, develop a high standard quality product. They do not agree. You got to use the standard components or the raw materials first if you have to develop a good quality product. Similarly here, from whom you buy the license of your testing tool or the development tool, that also matters here. So selection of the supplier or a vendor. Customer acceptance is also taken over here, okay? So when we make the agreements, you know, with the client, everything will be mentioned. Which tool we will be using, what technology we will be using, how many people will be working in the project, okay? What will be the qualification or, you know, minimum level of qualification that they require to work in that project. So all these things will become the part of the project deal that happened, okay? I mean, this is something that is, you know, really very high level. Okay. Then we have the ISO IEC of 15504, which is known as SPICE, Software Process Improvement and Capability Dis uh, Determination. This is a framework for assessment of the process. Means evaluate the processes, whether you are following them properly or not. And how to evaluate? For that also you have a standard. Means if I want to conduct the examination, or a certification for you, I can't just, you know, conduct it as per my wish and will. For example, if I'm conducting a degree examination, it's not that I can conduct it as per my wish and will as a university or a college. I got to follow again the rules. Okay, I should make sure all the students are given the same question paper. I should make sure that, you know, in that question paper, the number of questions in the different difficulty level should have some, uh, you know, um, the acceptance, right? So I cannot do the assessment as per my own wish and will. There also we have the standard, okay, which is in the 15504. Okay, so process assessment, how to perform the assessment. Is it clear everybody? So this is ISO and IEC. Next we have the CMM and I, uh, CMM I and Six Sigma. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's take a five minutes break, okay. And then uh, we will start with the CMMI and then the Six Sigma. Okay. All right, everybody, let's take five minutes break. Okay, so currently it is 12 p.m. on my computer. We will meet at 12.05. Okay.
Hello. Okay. I'm back, everybody. Okay. Everybody able to hear me? Shall we get started again? Okay. Yeah. It is so nice, you know, that, you know, you start missing me if I'm not available even for a moment. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just one minute, okay, and I'll start receiving the messages over here. Okay, thank you. At least there are, you know, so many people who are going to miss me. I feel good. <laughs> and thank you, Pavni. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to discuss it is the CMMI, okay. And yeah, so we have the CMMI overview over here. Um, I'll not take, you know, like much time because I know it's like theoretical and um, I don't know if you're really getting bored with it, okay. So I'll just discuss this thing in a brief. Uh, so we have what is CMMI? And then, um, yes, it is a capability maturity model integration. Okay, what is CMMI? Capability maturity model integration. Okay. <laughs> um, sure, Archana, I'll try to get the one that is good one and then I'll send it across. Okay. <laughs> yeah, even I'm so curious to see everybody, but um, anyways, I don't think it's like possible in this uh, meeting. But anyways, yes. Okay. So basically, we can get connected on the Facebook of H2K Infosys. So why don't you all, you know, join in the H2K Infosys Facebook? So you can find the entire H2K team over there. Okay? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Pavni. Thanks so much. And also, Archana. Okay. So we have um, the CMMI, Capability Maturity Model Integration. And, um, yes, so this is a framework that is used in order to improve the product quality and the development efficiency for both hardware and the software. Okay, so let's try to understand this CMMI. Um, Okay, uh, downloaded QTP Shilpi email. Uh, it's asking to make a copy on the DVD. Is that right? Okay, uh, not sure, Naseem. Um, you got to, you know, check with her. Okay. Yeah. So we have this entire framework for the improvement of the product quality and then the development uh, efficiency for both hardware and software. Okay. So this is like sponsored by the U.S. Government of Defense in the corporation, sorry, in the cooperation with the uh, Carnegie Mellon University, okay? So uh, the CMMI is basically sponsored by the U.S. Department of Defense with the Carnegie Mellon University and the Software Engineering Institute. So they together have developed this CMMI. This is a model, okay? And many companies have got uh, the involved or involvement here, the, like, you know, we have the Motorola and then we have the Ericsson, okay? So these companies are involved. And basically, CMMI is for the organization, okay? It is not for the individual tester or a developer here, but it is for the entire organization. All the organizations will be categorized into the different CMMI levels. We have the five levels of the CMMI over here. Let me show you. These are the five levels. You can, you know, quickly go through it. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com On our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, please register on our homepage on the left-hand side 
Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.